you know you have a bailiff coming, and that instills the fear of God in you as the day approaches, and you don't have the money to pay. So, you are wondering what you can do to protect yourself from angry and obstreperous bailiffs. In this video, we show you the steps you can legally take to protect yourself from bailiffs. When anyone mentions bailiffs, it conjures up images of burly men in body armor smashing down people's doors and moving furniture out of the house. That usually happens when a non-paying tenant is evicted and is refusing to leave the property, but the bailiff industry mind machine tries to keep up appearances by filming bailiffs moving furniture. In this example, a debtor is arrested after the bailiff antagonized the debtor by unplugging a television set inside the property, brought it outside, and put it on the debtor's front lawn. The bailiff had no intention of taking control of the television, let alone selling it. It would never fetch any money, let alone the cost of transporting and selling it. So the debtor was provoked, and the police arrested him for a breach of the peace. These circumstances are fortunately, quite rare, and when the debtor gets legal advice, the charge of breach of the peace is dropped, because the Crown Prosecution Service knows there is no real prospect of a conviction, because the bailiff was the antagonist. So here is how to protect yourself from bailiffs. Knowing the law. Knowledge is power, and many debts collected by bailiffs are on behalf of local councils, and when they instruct a bailiff to collect a debt, whether council tax or a traffic contravention debt, the bailiff only has 90 days to collect it. If they cannot recover the debt in 90 days, and the bailiff thinks there is still a prospect of collecting the debt, they can ask the creditor to extend the 90 days deadline to 180 days. The time limit always starts from the date of issue printed on the statutory notice of enforcement that is given to the debtor before a bailiff attends. The notice of enforcement is only valid for 12 months after the date of issue printed on it. That means, the enforcement power is only legally valid for 12 months from the notice of issue. Regulation 9, of the Taking Control of Goods Regulations, 2013, says. The enforcement agent may not take control of goods of the debtor after the expiry of a period of 12 months beginning with the date of notice of enforcement. That establishes how long you might have to wait for the bailiffs to come. Protect your car. If you own a car, bailiffs will target it, and if you leave it on your driveway, or on any highway, bailiffs will almost certainly clamp it, and use your car as leverage to get the money out of you. You can put your car on a neighbor's driveway, or allocated numbered parking space. It doesn't matter if the bailiff can still see it, but they cannot clamp it, or remove it because it is not on a highway, or, on land where the debtor lives or carries on a trade or business. The law is paragraph 14 subparagraph 6, of Schedule 12 of the Tribunal's Courts and Enforcement Act, 2007, which says. Premises are relevant if the enforcement agent reasonably believes that they are the place, or one of the places, where the debtor, usually lives, or, carries on a trade or business. If you leave your car on any highway in England and Wales, the bailiff can still take control of it. Paragraph 14, of Schedule 12 of the Tribunal's Courts and Enforcement Act, 2007, says. An enforcement agent may take control of goods only if they are on a highway. Your car is also off limits to the bailiff, if it is on higher purchase, you use it for your work or education, and its value is under £1,350, or the car is displaying a valid disabled badge. Now, your car is out of the way, you need to protect your home. Get a wireless video doorbell. Bailiffs don't like answering to a wireless video doorbell, because they know they are being filmed, and the debtor can speak to them from a safe distance. Bailiffs collecting council tax, traffic debts, and high court writs, do not have a power to break into private homes. Bailiffs collecting unpaid court fines do. However, bailiffs have to apply for that power separately, and it rarely succeeds in recovering the money, and often lands the court service a bill from the housing landlord for the cost of the repairs. That makes breaking open homes to recover unpaid court fines financially unfeasible, so the threat to break into homes with a locksmith is usually idle. Bailiffs may put their foot into your door to stop you closing it. This is called the threshold maneuver. Bailiffs believe that by putting their foot into your door, they think they have peacefully and lawfully entered your home. 
This method of entering homes by a bailiff is illegal, because the bailiff must apply force to the person holding the door to get inside. Paragraph 24, sub-paragraph 2, of Schedule 12 of the Tribunal's Courts and Enforcement Act, 2007, says. A power to use force does not include power to use force against persons. If you let a bailiff inside your home, they can ransack it to pressure you into borrowing the money at any expense, to concede to the debt. Install a deadlock. Bailiffs like to threaten debtors with a locksmith. The installation of a deadlock will make it a lot harder and time-consuming to pick a deadlock. In most cases, a bailiff will move on when they realize they're up against a deadlock. Don't post on social media. Bailiffs search the debtor's name online and read about what they post on social media. This is to see what the debtor looks like, whether they have assets, a nice car, how well they dress, and even if they have pets, in particular, a guard dog. Bailiffs will also see when you go to work, so they can plot the best time to ambush you at a time you are least expecting them. Install motion-activated lights. Bailiffs often work very early in the morning and under cover of darkness. Lighting them up before they approach the door alarms them because they know they are being filmed and they are less likely to act unlawfully. Having lights coming on blows the element of surprise, because bailiffs often try to go round to the back of a property to see if the back door is unlocked. If a door is unlocked, bailiffs can lawfully enter your home by turning the handle, so always keep your home secure. Make sure car keys and valuables are hidden from sight. Bailiffs may reconnoiter the property before knocking or at a time before the date they are due to call. They look through the windows to see any expensive items. They have no intention of taking them, but will use it as leverage to get access inside your home. If you can't face the bailiff, don't answer the door. There is no law that says you must answer your door, let alone open it to anyone, including bailiffs. Let them keep banging the door. If you feel threatened, or the bailiff starts shouting, then start recording it on video, and call the police on 999 reporting a disturbance. Do not open your door until the bailiff is safely away from your property. Bailiffs never turn up when they say they will. Bailiffs rely on ambush enforcement. If they tell you, or write on a document that he will return on Monday at 6 in the morning, then you are guaranteed that the bailiff will never be seen. If bailiffs turn up as expected, they become vulnerable to waiting TV crews making documentary programs on rogue bailiffs and makes the bailiffs the unwilling star. Since the BBC show Whistleblower, a rogue bailiff company was exposed to be defrauding victims systematically and routinely. After their cover was blown, the bailiff industry needed to revise its bailiff training procedures to avoid them being caught by TV crews and now YouTube content creators. Before bailiffs to come knocking, Dealing with Bailiffs offers a free online enforcement compliance check and provides ways you can apply to stop the enforcement or get more time to pay or raise a dispute on the liability with the creditor. If you have learned something new today, why not give this video a like or share this video with your friends. Until then, if in doubt, keep them out.